Welcome to year 25 of holiday training. It's changed throughout the years. First lessons that I tried to teach about giving was giving, receiving, and witnessing are one. And now we're blessed to do it here in a really unique environment because the people that are in the stadium range from di different socioeconomic classes and different places. The only way we truly can acknowledge what we appreciate is to not to have it anymore. But what was the missing piece? By the meaning that we give our past. But today we're gonna to learn something new that I think takes it to the next level. I have three pennies. Can I give you this penny? Sure. I wanna give you this penny, but I, I wanna let you know it's really bad luck. Ever since I picked it up, everything in my fucking life went downhill. Do you want this penny? I've had this since I was bankrupt. It's my luckiest thing that I own. If you go and put those into a gumball machine, you'll get the same gumball. Which one's more valuable? We're gonna go out there and we're gonna show people that lesson today. Five different gifts each team that you have to capture. A penny, the $2 bill, the $1 bill, the $20 bill, and the $100 bill. There was one woman that was by herself and we just offered her a book. Someone saw us offer the book and walked over and gave Serafina a dollar, Ethan a dollar. When we left the room, we're like, all right, let's go, go back and give them a 20. The number one thing that I can help people with and coach them is to empower them to be worthy enough and to confirm that they live in a universe that's abundant. There's more than enough abundance for everyone. For the $100, we were looking for someone to give it to. I've been reading this book. You've been reading it? No way. <laughs> no coincidences. Whether you're giving or receiving, trust the universe. So he had flipped the script and actually asked, how can I essentially be of service back to you? I'm saying put your effort into receiving as much as you can and then give it all away and ask for even more and continue a cycle of value add, not zero sum. Like, okay, we're gonna change the meaning of this penny with our intention for 2024 to build our community even bigger, make more money, help more people and have more fun, and then we throw it in the water. So that made me realize like, just because someone gives a meaning to something doesn't mean that you have to take that meaning with it. Which is what Colleen surprised me with when I said, this is a bad luck penny. She's yeah. like, yeah, not for me, it's not. Yeah, just because it's like a superstition or something, it's like bad luck for someone doesn't mean that's gonna be for you. Maybe it's just like for that person to learn that lesson of whatever it is. You might not feel like you're making progress or you're making a change. Um, you're causing a ripple. And, and that really is, is going to be that exponential. No matter what value you're providing to someone, you're always going to encounter open and closed minds, no matter what. And it's okay that if you encounter closed-minded people did not take offense to that. It's just who that person is or perspective or perspective they may have just for that day. Because it's the meaning that limits us in our future. It's the meaning that interferes as well in a what? Infinite, abundant, unified system of thought. It's the meaning that we give it that's going to interfere with this system that we've been learning over 25 years. And so I want you to experience the meaning of what we do. The smallest of interactions you have with people, like even a smile and asking someone how they are, is a positive meaning you're giving to someone and how far that can go and how easy it is to just give. What you as a single person can do to impact so many people with a positive outlook and kindness and gratitude. We are constantly planting seeds. Some of them take instant root, some of them grow instantly, but whether you don't see anything other than you planting the seeds, somebody's with Thank you for allowing us this opportunity to give and experience it and give, give many things and, and see it in a practical application of the impact it actually has. But I promise you, one particle of the light that you shared today, it overcomes a million particles of that darkness. And that's the meaning that I give it.